I'm at the Sandals Royal Plantation Resort in Ocho Rios in Jamaica and it is truly the most stunning place I've ever visited. I'm getting married in a few days time and I'm so excited but I'm also a makeup artist. The first look that I'm going to show you is a very simple groomed, polished, perfected look. Very kind of girl next door, very Jennifer Aniston, what we call in the industry the no makeup look. The first step to great skin is a perfect base. You need to moisturise. Make sure that you've got a really lovely moisturiser. Put it on your skin, let it sink in for a couple of minutes. And then my next step, so crucial, especially in this heat, is a primer. And it gives a perfect, even finish to your skin before you then put a base on. So I'm going to do foundation. Now foundation really is a key point in your makeup. I've chosen a mineral foundation. If you're in the sunshine, it's going to be the perfect foundation because it's going to absorb all, your, all the sweat and oils in the skin. You'll need to judge yourself how much coverage you want. If you want it quite natural, only put a little bit on. If you want more coverage, if you feel that you need more coverage, put a little bit more product on. But just keep buffing away and you'll soon end up with a flawless finish. It only takes a couple of minutes. Always do your foundation first because that will even out a skin tone and then do your concealer after because concealer will cover up any blemishes that the foundation hasn't covered. So you want to use your concealer for spots or blemishes or under eye bags or any marks that you have on your face. So that's why you do the concealer after the foundation. Once you're happy with the level of foundation, you want to add a little bit of concealer. I'd recommend a mineral concealer as well. All I'm doing is just tapping this on. And if you're like me, you probably won't sleep much the, the nights before the wedding. Your next major step is eyebrows. And again, this is so simple, and I'm gonna just show you how simple it is. What I like to do is use an angled brush and a powder shadow. Put a little bit of powder through and it just shapes the eyebrow, and it shapes the eye. Once your skin's looking flawless, and once you've got fabulous eyebrows that are framing your eyes, you then want to start putting a little bit of shape and colour into your face. I'm just using a light peachy pink colour with a big fluffy brush, and I'm literally just painting it on. Eyelash curlers. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend a waterproof mascara because if you're going to cry on the day, you don't want black streaks. And I use one for the bottom lashes. How cute is that? I can get all the tiny lashes underneath. Make sure you pull fish faces too. But next, I'm going to put a little bit of colour into my cheeks. I'm going to do a big cheesy grin and get the apples, lips, voila, you're almost ready to go. I'm choosing a lip colour lipstick. The reason being is, again, you don't want to worry if it's coming off, if you're eating or you're, you're kissing, whatever. It's just so pretty and natural. Rub your lips together. Voila! Simple, groomed, polished, lovely bridal look. This next look, I'm going to focus on a bit of sparkly eyes and a bit of shimmer lip gloss. And also, I'm going to do some false eyelashes. So I'm just going to use a shimmery colour on my eyes. And again, really simple. I'm just going to dab it on. So I've done my shimmery eyes, very Jennifer lopez -y, And I'm going to use some false eyelashes. These are pre-glued, so they're so simple to use. Just put them on top of the eyelash. And just pressing it down so that it's sticking. Voila! Big open beepers. So now I'm going to put a bit of bronzer into my cheeks and I'm just going to put it more up here, higher on the cheekbones. And then a little bit over the forehead, a little bit down the nose, a little bit on the chin, a little bit around there, just to give that super lovely glowy tanned look. Next step, lip gloss. I've chosen a lighter colour because it doesn't matter if you don't get it on your lips perfectly because it's light enough not to be so obvious. The sun catches it, it's so pretty. So this is look two, again very simple, uh, it's a little bit more glamorous than the first look, a little bit more shimmer, a little bit more gloss, but again so simple to do. For look three, I'm going for something a little bit more sassy and a little bit more sophisticated. I've let my hair down, a little bit tied up, and a lovely tiara. Liz Hurley is my inspiration, so I'm going to do soft, smoky eyes and nude lips and a lovely pink in the cheeks. I'm using a soft shimmer, again, but a darker colour. 
and here I'm going to put it just above the eyelashes. As they say, blend, blend, blend is a girl's best friend. Great. And now what I'm going to do is a black eyeliner. I'm going to use powder rather than an eyeliner for the same reason that I use powder foundations and concealers, because in the heat you don't want any coals dripping. All I'm doing is pressing the colour into the top of the lashes. It couldn't get any simpler than that. And that's it. See the difference between the two eyes? That just frames it. What I'm going to do now is lashings of mascara. Look one, I use blusher. Look two, I use bronzer. And this look, I'm going to combine both. So I've put some colour into my cheeks. And because I've got quite a lot of colour in my eyes and quite a lot of colour in my skin, I'm just going to go for a really nude lipstick. And that's it. So these are the three looks. I hope they've been really helpful and inspiring to you. I'm now off to decide which look I'm going to wear for my wedding day. And the only thing I've got left to say is have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.